Okay, so I've finished the base coat on the whole of the tank and I've also attempted to uh, paint the white stripe here, made it look not too, you know, well done. I went a bit hand rough, bit of uh, sleek, uh, leakage from the paint coming down and yeah, not all the way through so you can see, you'll see the green coming through. But anyway, I've just done a bit of the chipping here just to see if it's working. As you can see, once you put a bit of water and start uh, aggravating it with a brush or toothpick or anything, it starts to peel away that paint, as you can see there. And there. So I'll show you how I do it. Uh, so you need some, uh, some stuff. I use obviously a good old handy paper towel. I use this sometimes to trip away the paint. A kebab stick. Obviously various brushes. And of course, H2O. So, um, this water obviously you need all the time, so we'll see how it goes. I'll uh, set it up and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so I'll show you on this crab bar here or ladder, ladder step. So you give it a bit of a decent amount of water, let it soak through that paint causes that kind of reaction just like that and in my philosophy I think is less is more with this stuff so I don't want to chip crazy just you know just so it looks pretty detailed and once you wait a little bit if you start aggravating that top layer and just doing random patterns and if you can see there See how that paint starts to peel off? Just trying to do it for the viewfinder for you guys. So, see that? So it kind of gives you a real life, life like appearance because actually the paint is peeling off. See what I mean? So you can obviously go out to your heart's content and just go crazy. There's different techniques you can use, different products. You can use this scara. But I don't want to go too crazy, you just give it a bit of wipe with your hand, gets rid of the excess, and there you go. Now I'll try this part of the turret up here, maybe this ridge up here that's exposed and fairly high. Okay, so we have a little bit of water. We wanted to uh, eat through that layer. And cause a bit of damage along all the way here. Now, obviously, I guess the highest part of the tank will be a bit more acceptable to damage or wear and tear. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty, pretty fun. You can achieve some pretty nice results. I mean, that black brown color is that color there that's coming through, and because I've actually protected it as well with the matte clear, it doesn't go any further than that color, so it won't go through to the primer, the gray color. I hope that's coming through on the camera, but that's all you need to do. Wipe off some of the excess. I mean, looks quite nice, and I'm, I don't want to go over exaggerated, so that's that's what I'm aiming for. But obviously, if you want to go bigger scratches, like I have on my Panzer Four here, you can go do whatever do whatever you like. That's the beauty of it. And I think the further you, the longer you leave the water sit the uh, 
the easier it is to peel off. So once you've done your effect, you're, you're happy with the, the your uh, the chipping or the scratching, you just wipe it off with a rag. So here's a little bit of progress, guys. Guys, as you can see, well, in my opinion, you can achieve some pretty nice effects. Just don't go too crazy. And uh, obviously, I've, I've done a bit more exaggerated here. Obviously, the groomer will stand up here, always feet will rub against the cupola here, and maybe slide down here on the side. But my favourite tool for doing chipping at the moment is this, this brush. So, I just this scourer. Look at that. Watch this. A few easy light. Look at that. In my opinion that looks pretty good. And instead of wetting the model or you can just wet the end of the uh, scourer. Scrub, prod, scratch, whatever you see fit to get the results that you want. And you can just wipe away the excess water with the other side. Look at that. Scratched. Nice. So, I'll show you what I've done so far. So around the cupola, around the turret. Up here. A few nicks there. Right here. Along this seam here where the hinges are. In here where this mechanism will always hit there, obviously it will clear away the paint. So I've got to do inside this hatch, especially around the rim here. The paint will always chip off there every time that closes and opens and crews running in and out. But uh, yeah, looks pretty good. So just like that guys, it's um, pretty simple to get the uh, scratch effect you're after. Now if you have any questions or need any tips or advice just let me know but uh, little slight uh, scratches on the barrel there. I'm pretty happy how it looks. Please uh, let me know if you think it looks like crap. Um, <laughs> I'm open to criticism. This is my, you know, only couple times I've done this. But um, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. Now I'm pretty much finished on the uh, turret. Other side, let's make some more here, more here. But yeah, now that I have a whole time. Let me know what you guys think. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. See you.